بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیو اسٹوڈنٹس آف سیکنڈ ایئری آئی ایم یور ٹیچر سائمہ تنولی ود دا ٹوینٹی سیکنڈ لیکچر فار سیوکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کمپلیٹ دا ایکسرسائز فار چیپٹر نمبر تھری فسٹ آف آل ان دا ایکسرسائز وی ہیو دیز فور کوشچنز وچ آر دا ورک پیجز ان کوشچن نمبر ون فل ان دا بلینکس وی ہیو اے Social service is a material relief given to the people and more importantly to influence the change in the pattern of poor. B. Public health is the reflection of the community. C. In Pakistan there are over 4,500 voluntary registered social welfare agencies. D. Main purpose of the education for an individual is to be equipped with necessary knowledge and skill e under the 1998 to 2010 education policy the system education policy the system has adopted three tier mod coming to question number 2 which is of the mcqs a who said that education of the citizen is the heart of the modern state that is laski b How many registered doctors are there in the country? That is 101635. C. When was the first case of aid confirmed in Pakistan? Answer is January 1987. D. How much the literacy rate was estimated in Pakistan in 2000? That is 47% E how much pakistan spends on the education sector of its gnp that is 2.1% then we have the third question which is uh, the true and false first one is a the number of district reporting polio cases has come down to 26 in 2002 true B in Pakistan most of the facilities are concentrated in urban areas true C life expectancy level is low in the country true D there are more than 100 universities and degree awarding institutions in the country true E Pakistan is one of those developing countries of Asia and Africa which have high literacy rate false then we have question number 4 which is match the column a to b tuberculosis b sanatorium national educa- education policy that is 1998 to 2010 social welfare agency red crescent society aids fatal disease epi prevention of six diseases coming to the short questions which are uh, you will be writing uh, in your register so make sure that you complete all these short questions in your register as they will be very easy to learn at the end of the session in this we have the first question that is define social service define social service this is on page number 60 in the second paragraph we have this answer for social service the practical help provided to the people who need it is called social service it is a material relief given to people and more importantly to influence the change in the life pattern of the poor the nature of social service may slightly differ from country to country and from society to society the main purpose of these social services is the same that is to help the people to fulfill unmet needs as well as serve them so this is your answer for uh, this short question 1 uh, then coming to short question that is b or 
who is a social worker the answer uh, we will be having uh, is on page number 61 in the first paragraph we have this answer in the seventh line those individuals who render such social support or aid services and perform such a work are called social workers they are usually trained to perform their social work in a proper and efficient manner so this is the answer for your uh, second uh, short question and again uh, uh, write down these uh, questions in your uh, book and now we have a notebook we have the third one that is c what is the main function of a psychiatric hospital now what is that it is a important question psychiatric hospitals are uh, there to provide uh, we can say um, help to the people uh, who are mentally disturbed this is uh, on page number 67 in your book fourth point psychiatric hospitals so completely uh, write these uh, lines they are there are hospitals for the care and treatment of the mental illnesses in these hospitals the mental patients are treated by modern techniques and methods in pakistan there are very few psychiatric hospitals best known psychiatric hospitals are located at lahore which is called fountain house hyderabad and karachi so this is the answer for your uh, third uh short question now coming to the fourth one that is d uh what aims and objectives of uh, our educational system and list uh, what are the aims and objectives of our educational system uh, so uh, we will be writing those uh, they are aims and objectives or of the education system will be uh on page number 77 we have these aims now coming to page number 78 uh, in the second paragraph the aims and objectives of our educational system are ye bullet se likhe hue development of individual abilities and talents making pakistan a social state fostering national ideals and integration creating a sense of nationhood aur ye aayega human development for economy you are supposed to, or you will be writing all of these because uh, uh, this question these sh- uh, short questions of yours are for 5 marks so you have to write a lot then coming to the next uh, short question uh, that is uh, the f- fourth one that is uh, not the fourth one but the fifth one e and list the three tier mode under the 1998 to 2010 uh, education policy now what is the uh, this um, three tier system jo hamare ha bahut famous hai especially from this uh, 2010 to uh, 1998 to 2010 the answer is on page number 79 uh, this is uh, in the first paragraph on the top under the 1998 to 2010 education policy the system has adopted three tier mode aur wo usme aap dekhiye we have pre school education elementary school uh, education classes 1 to 8 secondary education classes 9 to 12 and the, then fourth one is tertiary education you will be writing uh, two two lines at least for all all of these uh, uh, education systems थोड़ा थोड़ा आप इनको दो दो लाइन्स में कंप्लीट कर लीजिएगा देन वी हैव कमिंग टू एंड ऑफ दिस शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन विच आर फाइव नाउ टू द नेक्स्ट लेंथी क्वेश्चन दे आर डिस्क्राइब द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पब्लिक हेल्थ इन पाकिस्तान वॉट मेजर्स हैव बीन टेकन बाई द गवर्नमेंट टू इम्प्रूव हेल्थ सर्विसज वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स वी आर फेसिंग Uh, this is on page number uh, 68 69 and then we have a long one uh, that is till page number 72 in which we have problems like poverty lack of education and ignorance adulteration of foods lack of pure drinking water 
polluted environment our social setup drug addiction then shortage of doctors hospital these are the problems which pakistani society is uh, facing then coming to the next question uh, to b discuss the working of health department in pakistan give details of the kinds of hospitals in the country we have this uh, different kinds of uh, hospitals in the country uh, in which uh, they are uh, on page number 66 kinds of hospital jisme general hospital hai then on page 67 military railway hospitals psychiatric hospitals sanitorium tb hospitals then we have page 68 maternity hospitals uh, drug abuser hospitals and other kinds of hospitals so this is your answer for this uh, lengthy question now coming to the third one c uh, elaborate the structure of education in pakistan structure of education in pakistan uh, that is uh, we have what kind of uh, schools and uh, system uh, again this is on page number 78 structure of education in pakistan and it ends uh, on uh, page number 84 dini madaras pe ja ke ye khatam hota hai jisme hamare paas different स्ट्रक्चर्स आ जाते हैं लाइक प्री स्कूल एजुकेशन एलिमेंट्री एजुकेशन दैन वी हैव टर्जरी एजुकेशन दीनी मदारस एंड ऑल दीज सो दिस इज योर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेंथी क्वेश्चन विच इज डी फोर्थ वन एक्सप्रेस मेजर प्रॉब्लम्स फेस्ड बाई पाकिस्तान इन ट्राइंग टू रेज द लिटरेसी रेट लिटरेसी रेट होता है आपका शरा खानदगी आपकी लोगों की कितने हद तक लोग पढ़े पढ़े लिखे हैं उसको लिटरेसी रेट कहा जाता है तो हमारे में क्या प्रॉब्लम्स वी आर फेसिंग इन दिस एस्पेक्ट दिस इज़ ऑन पेज नंबर एटी फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स इन एजुकेशन इसके पॉइंट्स हैं वन टू थ्री फोर एंड देन इट एंड ऑन पेज नंबर एटी सेवन विद फोटीन प्रॉब्लम्स which we are facing in uh, raising our uh, literacy ratio that is um, which is very low then we have the last uh, lengthy question e fifth one suggest measures to solve the education um, problems besides the step taken by the government in this respect what are what are the initiative this is on page number 87 efforts to increase the level of literacy then access to universal primary education early childhood education adult literacy taleem e balgha curriculum development page 89 mainstreaming of mad- uh, madrasas uh, promotion of gender equ- equity equality and women empowerment page 89 and uh, this ends on page number uh, 92 with higher education so this is all for today with this we come to an end of your uh, chapter uh, chapter number 3 and uh, inshallah now we will be uh, having classes or uh, regular classes from uh, 15th so uh, allah hafiz and uh, good luck